All right, Dan, first up on the list is one of your picks, which comes from this Ooh. album here, DJ Shadow. Uh, we got the blue vinyl here. I'll show you that. And um, your track here is building steam with a grain of salt. Let's get this started. So yeah, I mean, this is a classic album, and this is like this is my life in the '90s, a hundred percent. I mean, yep. tell tell us about it for you. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, when I first heard this record, I was doing a radio show, like a student radio show, um, mm -hmm. with a friend of mine, and we were playing like I guess a lot of uh, UK sort of electronic music, and um, yeah, I guess sort of hip hop influence, you know, sample based stuff, you know, that kind of thing. Hadn't heard of DJ Shadow, but uh, the guy I was doing the radio show with, you know, dropped one of his tracks, and it, and immediately I was just like, "What the hell is this? This, this is crazy." Um, I think kind of took all the things I loved about hip hop and and um, I guess the music that I was into, and sort of, I guess, sort of packaged it into this weird sort of beautiful collage of samples and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I guess for me at that time, I was sort of getting slightly interested in doing production and and sort of maybe somehow delving into electronic music a bit more beyond my radio show. And this was sort of like, man, this is sort of my entry point. Maybe sampling is a way that I can kind of make music of my own. And so that, yeah, yeah that kind of got me started thinking about like, you know, buying a sampler and, um, you know, grabbing some of my records and, and making something. Yeah, and, and it's such a, a, a crazy influential album. I mean, this apparently like the song Influx actually helped coin the term trip hop, which like spawned a whole genre of artists. You know what I mean? But I guess some reviewer was was reviewing it and, and described it as trip hop. You know, and then you know, and I know that term is kind of maligned. Like people don't love the term to describe it, but um, I mean, it's it's just such a crazy influential record. I, I'm curious, uh, anyone else in the band? Was this big for anyone else in the band? I mean, it was, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was big around the musical world, I guess. Um, probably not as personal, yeah, not seven, definitely not as personal for me as it is for Dan, though. I think, um, I mean, I've heard him speak about this album more than more than once. Um, mm -hmm. And it, yeah, it's, it's a classic, obviously. Yeah. Mitchell? Yeah, this is pretty ever present. Yeah. Um, yeah kind of unprecedented um i remember being younger this just sounding like nothing else and um especially i remember listening to this on a stereo and just like being blown away at how um you know the the actual sounds of it how well it was recorded and produced and put together just it was like it just sounded incredible it just made you want to turn it up loud and um <laughs> it made your speakers sound amazing yeah yeah all right well there it is dj shadow building steam with a grain of salt <laughs> 